Now let's talk about your WordPress dashboard. You'll notice the left-hand sidebar has changed a lot after you uploaded Jupyter. Let's clean it up a bit so we don't have an anxiety attack. Or so I don't have an anxiety attack. You're going to go to Advanced. Post Types. And this was from Theme Options. Portfolio, News, Photo Album. And we're just deactivating the stuff we don't need that are extras. Of course, you can leave them, but I find it annoying and bloated to leave them all because I know I don't use them all. Save your settings. Then we're going to install the required plugins at the top, which you can click. And we'll just uh, install the top two, not the bottom three, because again, I don't like sliders. But of course, more than welcome to install them. Once they install, and sometimes you'll get an error where it'll say they failed to install, but just refresh the page and make sure because they might have been installed, but um, for some reason WordPress is being weird and does that. See, it said failed, but we go back to the required plugins installer and they're installed. So just re-click them and then you're gonna wanna activate them. You always have to install and then activate. Yay, so they're activated. So let's go over the WordPress dashboard. We're going to go to posts, all posts. And this is just like where your blog posts are. You can click edit to edit a post. It's pretty like, you know, self-explanatory. It's a WYSIWYG editor. What you see is what you get. You can just move those things up by just clicking on them. The Jupyter styling options, Jupyter widget options, etc. cetera. Um, that's where your categories are, which you can also make your own categories in the categories uh, tab. Pages is where your website pages live. If you want to add a new one, you just add new. So what are plugins? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> plugins equal functionality. Plugins extend the functionality of the standard WordPress platform, allowing you to do more with the site without ever touching code. They're fucking awesome and fucking horrible at the same time. So if there's something you want your site to do, I am more than willing to bet there's a plugin to do it. Whether you needed to SEO optimize your site, integrate with MailChimp or another email service provider, or add social media buttons, or do something way crazier, plugins are probably your answer. You shouldn't have to purchase any premium plugins for your site, but if you do, there's Code Canyon, which is Theme Forest's sister site. No, make sure you look under WordPress plugins if you do, and follow the same instructions I gave you for purchasing themes for purchasing plugins. Plugin best practices. Plugins aren't all fun and games. In fact, they can be extremely dangerous. Download the wrong plugin and boom, your site's fucking gone. It's happened to me before and it was as horrible as it sounds. Luckily, there's backups now. The fewer, the better. More plugins, more problems. Plugin problems are usually expected and the only way to really circumvent a plugin problem from happening is to only install the ones you need to function well enough to provide a phenomenal user experience to site visitors. One con of plugins is that each active plugin slows down your site, and a fast site is vital because every second it takes to load, you lose a visitor or two or three or more if it's really shitty. <laughs> Use it or delete it. If the plugin is not active, then delete it. Why? Because inactive plugins still cause security risks. And anyway, you can always install the plugin again if you really must. Be wary. Only download plugins that have good reviews. I recommend Code Canyon if you purchase premium plugins. That's where I purchase mine. But do you do you research nonetheless? Before ever purchasing and installing a new plugin, I Google, ask around, and read reviews. Do the same. You can also browse the WordPress plugin directory, which I linked to below. And just an FYI, trusted providers will have recently updated their plugins, so make sure that you check the last time the plugin was updated as well. You want to make sure there's support for that plugin. 
May and make sure it plays well with your version of WordPress. Trusted sources will also have support for their plugins, which is vital. Update them often, always. Plugin authors update their plugins to add functionality, fix security breaches and their bugs, and stay up to date with the current version of WordPress. There's a reason why they updated their plugin, so stay on top of updating them. You'll get a notification in your dashboard under WordPress updates when you need to, so just make sure you're checking the back end consistently. If your site mount functions, it likely has to do with a plugin. It could be a conflict between plugins or your theme, and if you just added a plugin, you can 100% guarantee that that plugin is probably the source of the problem. If this happens when you install a plugin now or in the future, try to click the back arrow in your browser until you see the original plugins page again, then deactivate and delete the plugin. If you can't figure out what's going on, you have a few options. Deactivate all the plugins one by one until your site goes back to normal. Find someone to ask for help on social media, Slack, Facebook, email, wherever. Or contact your hosting provider and they may support you through the issue. GoDaddy has helped me many times with this type of thing. Of course, there's also a fourth, which is restore your site to the backup version in GoDaddy. Now we're going to create our pages.